All right, so we got every single Imperial gun explained by an Australian Warhammer 40k lore. It's a good video, man. G'day, guys and gals. Shout out to Major you Kill, know, man. Despite its title, Warhammer 40k doesn't have a huge variety of Warhammers in it. It does, however, have a metric splooge load of guns, which coincidentally is True. the topic of this video. God damn, I'm not very funny, am I? Whether you're burning, shredding, warping, zapping, exploding, or eviscerating your enemies, there is a gun Calm for down every below. situation. What's your favorite, uh, weapon? Guns are like wieners. Or no, it's not how big it is, it's how you use it. Or at least that's what you tell yourself on those long winter nights. Some of the guns on this list are just neckbeard versions of real life guns, whilst others involve physics defying technology. There is even a couple spicy, miscellaneous, unique guns, such as the. Real quick. Oh, okay. The new shredder which i'll be saving for i would say i kind of like the bolt gun the so bolt sure gun i like all that. the way through gotta get that succulent watch time you know before True. we get started yeah my god True. you guys are demonic since planting down my flag and issuing my war cry against one mind syndicate you've come out in full force you've slapped that subscribe button more times than i've watched orgy porn we have skyrocketed and now the end of those wiki reading simpletons is nigh one final no, push guys okay? to put them behind us and set our targets on a new more epic foe Oh yeah, and I guess we're about to overtake 40k theories as well, which is, you know, it's pretty cool, I guess. Oh, nice. Let's do it, guys. Not hey, for you. Not shout for out to Timmy, you guys too, man. You guys have my... been like, you know, subscribing to the channel, watching the videos, man. Listen, you guys have been loving these Warhammer videos. I'm going to keep giving them to y'all. Um, plus, you know, more game trailers, etc. like that. I just wanted to, you know, take a little quick time out to tell you guys that. Um, I really appreciate all the support. It's been absolutely ridiculous let me just tell you that and uh, let's get right to it let's a go. superficial and likely unhealthy ego today we'll go over each of the guns that the imperium uses ranging from the most Calm common of the last guns gun. to the most Sh unique of web pistols as a rule all the guns i'm mentioning here have to be portable and wieldable by at most a terminator okay Hence, i won't be talking about the guns on a tanker a titan if you want to know about those sense. guns then don't worry chich i got you covered Dang, he got a let's video for everything i respect it when starting off a list it's always important to start hard and fast and hot just like other things in life that you wouldn't know much about hence we have the flamer which you guessed it is a flamethrower down to a t wait is that However, instead of using diesel or petrol oh, the no, imperium no. uses promethium which sounds really bad but it's more or less just space napalm which i guess is actually quite bad hence if you're unlucky enough to survive the horrific burns of a flamer then the toxic chemical that was set on fire and thrown at you will eat into your flesh and poison you Definitely not ideal. I mean, it's a I'm not sure how the Imperium okay. pulled it off, but they also invented the hand flamer, which is exactly what it sounds like. Not really sure where they store all the fuel for it, or you know, maybe it's just kind of like a one-shot kind of gag. But I guess when all you need is a few drops of the fuel to kill someone, you don't really so need more than like one. So it's like a flamethrower glock. On the other end of the spectrum, we have the heavy flamer. You'll notice a pattern with a lot of the guns on this list. The majority of them have a big brother counterpart that is usually hauled around by space marines. The heavy flamer is bigger, badder, hotter, and can blow its load further. It's the guy your girl tells you not to worry about. The Promethean in them is also generally more powerful and will have an easier time melting through armor, or flesh. The last of the flamers on this list is the Incinerator, which while it sounds like the magnum opus of the flamethrowers, it's pretty much just the exact same as a heavy flamer, other than the fact that its Promethean fuel is blessed and does extra damage to demons. Why use holy water when you can use holy fire, am I right? Now we okay. have everyone's favorite stock standard pew 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 gun, the Laz gun, <laughs> affectionately called the flashlight on the tabletop due to how shit it is. These things actually do pack a punch. A single shot, you know, in the law, is enough to blow off your limb in a shower of gore. It would be pretty fucking embarrassing for you if the last thing you heard was pew 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 pew, pew before half your torso goes missing. Dang. Despite laser technology sounding like complex and dangerous, the laser gun is unbelievably reliable. Like, if you can't find a USB port to charge this, then you can literally chuck the power unit in a campfire and the heat will recharge your gun. Nice. Really? As I said before, okay, no, like everything that. has a pistol version, and the LAS gun is no exception. Hence, we have the LAS pistol, oh, no, that thing ugly. which is a That's smaller, ugly. shittier version of the LAS gun. That's ugly. It also goes, pew, 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 pew. but I like to imagine That's in like a cuter and less threatening way, even though it could still blow you limb from limb. Finally, we have the daddy of the LAS, the LAS cannon. While LAS guns are like flashlights, LAS cannons are like cannons that shoot out laser beams. Look, I'm really hungover, and my brain isn't capable of making clever comparisons at the moment, so just oh, deal with no. it. Interestingly oh, enough, no. whilst Wait, the LAS gun sucks at damaging anything with Dang. armor, the LAS cannon is an anti-armor weapon. But I guess with a big enough laser beam, you can make it do whatever you want. This weapon is huge and can only be carried by a space marine. Guardsmen who wish to fry some fuckheads with the LAS okay. cannon will need to wheel it around in a weapons team. 
Getting a little bit heretical now, we have this strangely named Hellgun. Odd thing for a super religious superstitious empire to call a perfectly good weapon. It's basically a las gun on steroids, allowing for a girthier laser beam that has a lot more penetration capability. Because of it being better, it's more expensive and rare, hence only the tippity top of the guardsmen get to use it, such as the stormtroopers or grenadiers. And then, you know, there's the Hell Pistol. If you need me to tell you what that is by this point, then you're a fucking idiot. Oh my. One thing I do respect about the Imperium is their sensible naming conventions, you know, for the most part. A good example of this is the Melter Gun, which is a gun that melts shit. It works by shooting out a torrent of intense heat, which is super effective. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, a lot of these guns that I'm seeing, right? Like, this gun looks all right. Like, the last two pistols or whatever, they look, they looked... I oh, don't know, bro. It's something about, like, they look very bland, but at the same time, like, you know, they're not, like, it's, the thing is, it's a pistol, so I'm not really expecting, like, this pistol to, you know, to, like, turn into, like, like, into, like, a robot or something, but at the same time, like, they could at least, like, add a little bit of, like, sparkles or something to it, like, bro, bro, give the pistol, like, a, like, a bright, like, spazzass or something, like, give it a, give, give it a, give it a, I don't know, give it a whirl, I don't know, do, do something with it, it just looks very bland, uh, this one right here, it's okay. I mean, uh, I, I don't know. Calm down, blow man. Bro, what is your favorite uh, pistol or actually just gun in the game uh, just in general? But um, what, like some of these pistols are trailer trash. I will admit that. Against armor. Getting shot by one of these would be like getting shot with a microwave. You know, like the radiation waves, not like someone firing a metal box at you. You get what I mean? Then there's the multi-melter, which you get by slapping another barrel on a melter gun and voila. You now have a way heavier, way bro, beefier weapon. That thing look like a dresser. Are we shooting with dressers now? That's crazy. Bro, like a wooden dresser. That's crazy. That's microwave. This big boy can only really be used by big ass flaming space marines or nuns with guns. The pinnacle of the melter technology and one of the most rare weapons in the Imperium is the Inferno pistol. Unlike how most pistols are just small shit yet portable versions of a weapon type, an Inferno pistol packs all the punch of a melter gun in a nice tight and portable way. As a testament to the power of these weapons, Dante blew the Swarm Lord, this one the look greatest so bad. of the Tyranids, to Kingdom Come with a couple shots from his trusty Inferno pistol. Well, the last guns go pew 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 pew, the plasma guns go... How the fuck does a plasma gun go? The point I was going to until my crippling autism rudely interrupted me uh, is that plasma guns in 40k are no joke. Using some fantasy science this, involving magnetics this and one a miniature so sun and blah blah, this one the Imperium has created a weapon that can fire superheated balls of death. The drawback to having a mini sun in a gun is that it has the potential to overheat, causing the user to tragically die. More recent iterations of the gun have sought to minimize the risk of instant accidental suicide at the cost of a reduced fire rate. But honestly, whatever you shoot at should only need one shot to bring down. And yes, mm. it has a pistol variant that is often seen as the Astarte okay, no, that, that of choice, cool. that looks especially cool. for officers. That looks really Getting cool. a bit spicy now, we have the Grav Gun, which is specializes in non-lethal capturing of enemies, although you can definitely make it lethal if you want. Basically, this gun jizzes out graviton particles, which can either increase or decrease the weight and mass of an object. Increase the mass of a person and they will struggle to move. Increase it a lot and their bones and organs will crack and rupture. But it's you a, man, somebody, bro, if you don't get this evil villain, uh, th this Batman villain gun out of here, what? So if you point it at something and you shoot it and, and you want to increase something, you can just shoot it at, you can just like shoot it at a human and it'll turn into like, like it'll turn you into like Matilda. Uh, like Matilda's principal, like from that one movie, like is that it? And then like if you want to shrink something or whatever, you could just put. I mean, bro, that's like a, that's such like a Batman type of villain gun, bro. I imagine like the Riddler carrying around this or something, bro. This got it, brother. I'm gonna be honest with you. This weapon, I mean, it. it I mean, look, just looking at the design, bro. It look like a, it look, bro. It, I'm gonna just be completely honest, bro. It look like a school nerd made this. And to be honest with you, bro, I mean, obviously I wouldn't use it. I got to use something way cooler. Like he said, like one shot probably takes somebody down. I do not imagine somebody at the back of the war, in the back of the cut, using this to point at enemies to make them bigger and to inflate them and stuff like that. I mean, to each his own. Everybody has their own things, but I don't know. And like the look of this weapon, uh, it looks okay. I mean, this weapon looks like it just folds up into like a cube or something. I don't know. But you know, so is causing the structure's integrity to be fucked what as it now weighs three times more than it's supposed to. Once again, there is a pistol variant of this weapon. 
Onto a practical gun now, we have the Combi Grav, which is a bolter gun sticky taped to a grav gun, meaning you can make a heretic's balls weigh 300 kilos while bolting them to pieces. Yo, yeah, 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 hold on, yeah. Yo, bro, what's up with you and all these like sexual, like, like jokes and stuff? Bro, you, oh, bro, man, you, bro, <laughs> man, bro, you are like, I don't know what it is. Maybe that's just like Australian humor. But man, you are really driving the wits when it comes to these like, these like you know these sexual jokes and stuff, bro. Like, man, I've never like, man, that's crazy, man. Like, bro, I click on the video, uh, bro, I, I hear balls and all types of like, what, man? What was, man? What, man? What's going on, bro? You trying to tell us something? This is crazy. If they ever figure out how to make a combi sniper, then it'd really unlock a lot of Tweet potential. The Imperium employs the use of missile launchers. It's exactly what it sounds like. I feel like me explaining it would just be condescending for both of us. The opposite to the friendship cannon, we now have the assault cannon. This self-reloading death machine makes miniguns look like pea shooters. I almost couldn't include this on this list due to this cannon being mostly used as a vehicle mounted weapon, however some hardcore terminators have been known to carry these around on occasion, so it's allowed. Not as fun as the assault cannon, but still deadly, is the auto cannon. This is basically a bolter that mortals can use. If a guardsman try to use a bolter, the recoil would shatter their bones, hence they instead opt for the auto cannon. It's a light machine gun, I think that's the best way to put it. Although it seems like guardsmen only really use las guns, that isn't the case. The auto gun is a broad term for any ballistic weaponry in the Imperium, and these guns pretty much function exactly like our modern day guns. It used to be commonplace for them to have explosive rounds, but due to an angry bold man having a midlife crisis, the knowledge to make those rounds has mostly been lost. An auto pistol is the most pistol-y of pistols. It's a handgun. I'm gonna keep being honest with you, this is probably like the best one. Out of all the pistols, this definitely, I mean, this looks like something from like Roblox or something, but at the same time, it looks it, bro, it like it has like a little kick to it. I can't lie. Now onto a bit of a fan favorite, we have the Boltar. Only usable by Space Marines and Sisters of Battle, these huge guns have unbelievable caliber, capable of ripping through enemies with ease. If you somehow survive being shot by a Boltar, then two things happen. Firstly, ouch. Secondly, that round is about to blow up, son. Yes, once a bolt around embeds into its target, it explodes. You'll wish you didn't survive the original shot. Whilst the bolt gun does come in pistol form, it's okay, more hold interesting on. I, variants might be the, the heavy bolt gun. You definitely aren't surviving the initial shot of this one, I'll tell you that much, Chich. Even the kinetic energy of a heavy bolter shot flying past yeah. you would be enough to crack that your bones and like fry your organs. Bro. These things make an absolute mess. This next gun has a pretty funny name, called the Exodus Pistol. It's used only by the Vindicare Assassins when they need to exit the area after killing their target. It's unclear if it's this, like this a Glock right. or if it just shoots one big ass bullet that ruins your tits, but either way, if it's a gun that only Vindicare Assassins use, then it's a bloody good gun. The Vindicares also employ the use of a unique sniper rifle called the Exodus Rifle, named so as a, a when you are okay, shot this, with this, this rifle, your soul exits your body. Yeah, yeah, sure, let's just go with that reason. This rifle comes with a number of different ammunitions, such as the shield breaker rounds, hellfire rounds, and my personal favorite, the turbo penetrator rounds. Nice. Now we have the heavy stubber, which honestly looks outdated even in comparison to real life. But the best part about guns is it doesn't matter if it's one year old or a hundred years old, they can still fuck you up. It looks like a World War II trench mounted machine gun and is often found in the hands of cow- This thing like it came straight from the assembly line in Ford. Like this is crazy, bro. This thing like it came from like, oh my god, this thing like it'll just put you in 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 a, in a Willie Nelson. This is, <laughs> I man, this gonna look complicated. This gun looks confusing. Wait, is the is the Mac upside down? Yo, bro, this the bro, this gun looks like it lifts up buildings. Like this is crazy. It's cultists because those fuckheads are too poor to be able to afford real guns. The precursor to the auto cannon, we have the Reaper auto cannon, which sounds way more powerful and badass than a normal nah, auto cannon, but nah, it nah, just nah, isn't. Sharing a similar aesthetic to the heavy stubber, this deliverer of death is often used by Chaos Terminators because they too are poor as shit and can't afford normal auto cannons. Next nah, up, it looks like a Tommy fair. gun, but it's called the Ripper gun. This old fashioned mobster blaster is used by the Ogrins and is more or less just a fully automatic combat shotgun. This works really shotgun. well for Ogrins because it means they don't need accuracy to fuck up the bad guys. Oh, They're so also it, built it extremely just, just sturdily, sprayed. as once the Ogrins run out of ammo, which you know takes like five seconds, they run in and use the gun as a makeshift club. 
Nice. Oh, okay. Ha! Would you look at that? It's 40,000 years in the future, but these dudes still have shotguns. Although you can happily take this into a war zone, uh, they're generally bad. used by the Adeptus Arabites for crowd control. Not the most humane way to put down a protest, but you know, it's wildly effective. On top of shotguns, 40k has basic handguns called stub guns, as well as other basic ass weaponry that is just a copy paste of modern military guns. Halo and Warhammer do share some themes. Super soldiers, evil xenos, a monstrous parasite that wants to devour your biomass, and a distinct lack of graphic sex scenes. They also what share the brother? needle art. What? Whilst Halo's version of the needler is a lot more colourful, the 40k version is just as badass. Basically, it's a gun that shoots a laser, which cuts through armour and clothing, before then shooting- Bro, this gun look like he got a plunger on it. Am I the only one that- Bro, this thing look like he got a plunger on it. This, bro, this gun looks like it- Bro, this thing like it processes like plants. Like, this is a gun? Wait, this is this is a weapon? Man, this thing, bro, look like you gotta use a plunger to pull a bullet out. Like this, this, this gun is, ugh. This gun looks ugly. I, I'm a poison needle. That's just my opinion. Be honest with you. I don't even know how that works from a practical standpoint, but don't question it. Just enjoy it. Now, this is where the fun begins. These next couple weapons are very unique and wild. First up is the conversion beamer, which turns you gay. As a side effect, it'll. Oh no! <laughs> There's no way. No, nope, he planned. No, 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 no. He's no, no. Wait, I'm going back. I'd never do this, but hold on, I gotta go back. Now this is where the fun begins. I'm, I'm These sorry, next couple what? weapons are very unique and wild. First up is the conversion beamer, which turns you gay. As a side effect, it also fires a beam of pure energy that converts whatever it touches into more energy. Onto the neural shredder we talked about at Wait, the start of this was video. Wait, serious this about that? This weapon is exclusive to the Kalidus Assassins, and it targets your neural system, causing you to seizure, enter great agony, or just become severely retarded. Or, you know, all of the above. Oh it's definitely a dickhead gracious, move brother. to use this weapon. Oh and finally, gracious. we have the Weber guns, which shoot out webs. Yeah, I'm not kidding. It sounds dumb, and it is dumb, but this is 40k. I mean, the Weber guns like... are generally used to arrest criminals and for crowd control when the Arbats decide that shotgunning the fuck out of everyone isn't a good idea. The Weber comes in a pistol good and a idea. variant, with the only differences being how much of the white sticky substance is blown onto your- Okay, yeah, let's just, yeah, we just gonna, we, we bro, mm -mm, we, we just gonna end it right there, man. Uh, bro, this dude, bro, <laughs> hey, bro, hey, bro, he, bro, <laughs> He's too much, bro. This dude, bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it completely honest with you, bro. He is too much, bro. Oh my goodness. Um, let's talk about the guns and I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, a lot of these guns look pretty regular. Some guns do look like, you know, that that you just picked up some random weapons from a junkyard and just attached it to the gun. Uh, you know, some guns got plungers on top of it. Uh some guns are like, you know, built like dressers. Uh, and then you have some guns that that kind of like some guns in real life. So, um, to be honest with you, like I mean, I was I, like to be fair, I wasn't really like expecting anything like specific whenever it comes to Warhammer guns. Like yes, I've seen like the like the uh, like the bolt gun. I've seen like the sniper gun. I've seen like a lot of the guns that you see in like Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. Those guns, like I was I was really looking forward to like seeing like those guns. And I think some of them are in here, but like. Uh, he definitely covered like a lot of pistols and stuff like that, uh, bro. These pistols are, I mean, bro, a lot of them, a lot of them look atrocious. If I'm being honest with you, uh, some of them look pretty cool or whatever. Like I said before, you know, some, you know, some of these, like I don't know, like some of these guns get like, um, like, like uh, towel racks to like to points where you could like hang the towel on, like after you use it after you get out the shower. You know, some of these guns um got their own like you know washing machine on top of it like it, it, it's just crazy they got like a, they got like a like a bug processor uh, on, on some of these guns so to be honest with you a lot of these guns like their builds bro um it, bro nasty but if i'm being completely honest with you bro it, it it doesn't stop the fact that some of these guns do do damage i mean they are guns so you know a lot like all these guns you know do damage you know because it is a gun but uh here and i was you know some of these guns were like you know you know make you like you know uh blow you up but then like you know some guns will like you know make you uh become gay i i never i've never in my life ever heard about that one before so i mean but to be honest with you like he said it is warhammer 40k comment down below man what do you ask about this and uh make sure you guys like the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and uh <laughs> see you guys like the next time out and peace out